Mental health in the workplace, prioritizing well-being for a productive environment. Mental health in the workplace is an issue that has gained critical importance over recent years, impacting both employee well-being and overall business productivity. The World Health Organization, WHO, and International Labor Organization, ILO, have highlighted mental health as essential for a healthy, thriving workforce. Research shows that creating a mentally supportive workplace can boost job satisfaction, reduce absenteeism, and improve productivity. Yet, despite increased awareness, mental health often remains under-addressed in workplaces worldwide, and stigma around mental illness persists. Mental health in numbers. Statistics provide a compelling view of the importance of addressing mental health in the workplace. According to WHO, around 15% of working adults have a mental health disorder. Depression and anxiety alone cost the global economy an estimated $1 trillion each year in lost productivity. Additionally, a recent study revealed that 76% of employees report at least one symptom of a mental health condition, such as burnout or stress. In a survey by the American Psychological Association, 79% of workers reported work-related stress, and almost three in five employees noted that their employer fails to provide sufficient mental health support. For businesses, this leads to higher turnover rates, lower productivity, and increased health care costs. The statistics underline a serious issue. Mental health challenges are not only prevalent, but costly. WHO and ILO on mental health in the workplace. The WHO and ILO have consistently underscored the need for mental health support in workplace settings. In their 2021 Mental Health Action Plan, WHO highlighted workplace mental health as one of the four priority areas. WHO advocates for an integrated approach that includes training, support systems, and accessible mental health services. The ILO emphasizes the importance of decent work, which includes providing safe working conditions that support mental health. According to the ILO, mentally healthy workplaces benefit from higher employee engagement, productivity, and lower absenteeism. Both organizations recommend implementing workplace policies and practices that address mental health needs proactively, setting the standard for a healthier workplace. What is the impact of mental health on businesses and employee well-being? Mental health challenges affect both individuals and the organizations they work for. From absenteeism to reduced productivity, these challenges can have a direct impact on business operations. Here are some of the ways mental health issues affect the workplace. One, productivity loss. Employees struggling with mental health issues may face difficulties concentrating, completing tasks, or maintaining motivation. Poor mental health can lead to reduced productivity, resulting in losses for the company. Two, increased absenteeism and presenteeism. Employees may take time off to cope with mental health issues, leading to absenteeism. However, presenteeism, being physically present but not fully functioning due to mental health struggles, can be equally detrimental. In fact, presenteeism is estimated to be three times more costly than absenteeism. Three, high turnover rates. When employees feel unsupported, they are more likely to leave their jobs, increasing turnover and recruitment costs for the company. High turnover can disrupt team cohesion, hinder project progress, and ultimately cost businesses significantly. Four, healthcare costs. Companies that fail to address mental health concerns may face increased healthcare expenses. According to WHO, every US dollar invested in mental health yields a return of US dollars in improved health and productivity, making it a sound business decision to support employee mental well being. What can company owners do? Promoting a mentally healthy workplace is an investment in the workforce and the future of the business. Here are practical strategies for business owners to create a supportive environment. 1. Implement mental health policies. Clear policies that outline the company's commitment to mental health create a culture of openness. These policies should address confidentiality, anti-discrimination practices, and available resources for employees dealing with mental health issues. 2. Provide access to mental health resources. Employers can offer Employee Assistance Programs, EAPs, which provide confidential counseling and support services for employees. Businesses can also partner with mental health professionals to offer on-site or virtual therapy sessions. Three, encourage work-life balance. 
overworking can lead to burnout, a significant contributor to mental health issues. Encouraging flexible schedules, allowing remote work options, and discouraging after-hours communication can help employees achieve a better work-life balance, which is essential for maintaining good mental health. Four, train managers to recognize signs of mental health struggles. Educating supervisors and managers on mental health can help them spot signs of distress among their teams and approach the subject sensitively. WHO's Mental Health in the Workplace guidelines advocate for training as an essential tool for reducing stigma and fostering a supportive environment. Five, create a positive work environment. Encourage open communication and cultivate an inclusive, supportive culture. When employees feel they can talk openly about their mental health, they are more likely to seek help and support. Stay tuned until the end of this video as we now discuss what employees can do to care for their mental health. Employees, too, play a role in managing their mental well being at work. Here are steps they can take to safeguard their mental health. 1. Set boundaries. Setting boundaries between work and personal life is essential. Employees should aim to avoid taking work home or being constantly accessible. Taking short breaks during the workday can help recharge and reduce stress. 2. Engage in self-care. Regular physical exercise, healthy eating, and sufficient sleep are crucial for maintaining mental health. Simple relaxation techniques like mindfulness, meditation, or deep breathing exercises can help manage stress levels. 3. Seek support when needed. Employees shouldn't hesitate to use the mental health resources offered by their employer, such as counseling services or support groups. If the workplace does not offer these resources, they might seek external support from mental health professionals. Four, communicate with managers. Open communication about workload and expectations can reduce stress and prevent burnout. Employees should feel empowered to have honest conversations with their supervisors about managing work responsibilities without compromising their mental health. Five, stay connected. Social support is essential for mental well being. Building relationships with colleagues and finding support networks within the workplace can make a significant difference in managing stress. In conclusion, mental health in the workplace is not merely a personal issue. It has significant implications for productivity, turnover, and business sustainability. The statistics and expert recommendations from WHO, ILO, and other authorities show that prioritizing mental health is a mutually beneficial practice for employees and employers alike. With supportive policies, accessible mental health resources, and open communication, businesses can create environments where employees feel valued and supported. Mental health should no longer be a secondary consideration, but an integral part of a healthy, productive workplace. Here's another video I encourage you to watch. Our kids spend a lot of time glued to their devices. Do you know what they are exposed to and who they engage with? What is the impact and hidden danger of their online activity? Please watch it.